Hey guys, this is Mirza from SMC Technologies. In this video, we want to show you a sensorless control demonstrator for battery powered drill applications. For this, we have modified a Makita drill in order to use it with an eval kit from ST Microelectronics and our sensorless software solution. We will use the eval ST Drive 101 power board over here. To do so, we have performed some modifications on the drill. First of all, we have removed the integrated power electronics as well as the Hall sensor circuit board. Using our sensorless solution, we achieve some advantages. So as a first point, we can get rid of this Hall sensor circuit board and the needed wires. Like this, we are saving system costs. Further, the overall system gets more robust against uh, mechanical vibrations, dirt and dust. As a third point, the overall control performance and the efficiency can be improved, as the usual approach with all sensors is using block commutation. Our sensorless algorithm uses field-oriented current control and sinusoidal phase currents from standstill up to the maximum motor speed. Then Let's take a look on the drill itself. After removing the power electronics, we have uh, plugged out the connectors for the three wires of the BLDC motor, the two wires for the battery supply, and the five wires for the signals of the potentiometer, and the switch for changing the direction of the motor. So let's put it all together and see how the sensorless drill works. And here we are back again. As you can see, we have connected the 18 volt battery power supply to the inverter and also plugged in the three phases of the BLDC motor. Further, we have connected the five wires for the potentiometer button and the switch for the speed direction change to our control board. On the monitor, we will be able to observe the most important variables like the DQ currents in Ampere in the first diagram, the motor speed in Hertz in the second diagram, and the rotor angle in electrical degrees in the third diagram. As usual for drill applications, the drive operates in speed control mode and the target speed is set via the potentiometer. In this default state, the inverter is not supplied with voltage. Only if the user presses the button uh, for the potentiometer, um, only then the inverter is supplied with the voltage. This means the sensorless control algorithm each time needs to start from scratch. And uh, it needs to find the initial position of the motor and then it's uh, possible to start the normal sensorless operation. So let's activate the debug tool and uh, see how the initial starting works. As you can see, the initial position is found quickly and the motor starts to rotate in the correct direction. Let's take a look at higher speeds. It's also possible to accelerate to the maximum speed with uh, very high dynamics. For this, the maximum allowed Q current is used. Okay, let's change the direction of the speed. We 
can see the rotor angle is moving towards the negative direction now. works well. So um, usually the low speed operation is considered as uh, critical for sensorless application. Therefore let's take a closer look at this, um, especially low speed and high torque. Um, yeah, therefore I will uh, set a low speed and increase the torque by manually breaking the drill with my hand. We can see that the Q current is increased in order to hold the desired uh, motor speed. can also block the rotor completely. So right now we are at approximately 300 degrees electrical. You can see it on the third window. And we can let him rotate slowly in the forward direction while providing the full torque. Okay, if we change the gear ratio, we will get more torque but less speed. In this case, I will not be able to uh, hold the uh, motor by hand. To block it completely. Let's have a look. Yeah, the speed is slower. And I'm not able to block the rotor completely. Okay, let's go back in the fast gear ratio. And for the end, I have a more practical uh, application of the device. We will sink these screws in the wood. So starting with low speed and going higher. Let's put them out again. That's it for our practical demonstration on sensorless drills. In the end, I would like to summarize the hardware requirements on the inverter for implementing our sensorless solution. The inverter needs current sensing in at least two of the three phases. It's enough to use low side shunt current sensing. Further, the inverter does not need additional phase voltage measurements as the control algorithm depends only on the measured phase currents. The requirements on the microcontroller are low. In this case, we were using a STM32G0 microcontroller and the processor load was quite small. This means we can use uh, microcontrollers with even less performance than this. SMC Technologies is providing this sensorless solution as a software library. If you have interest in our product or if you have any further questions,
feel free to contact us and see you next time.